Hello guys, welcome back to part 2 of GTA Vice City. Let's do Ken Rosenberg's missions in this part. Back alley brawl. Ah, well I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Okay, let's go visit Kent Paul. This guy also plays a prom prominent role in San Andreas. This club is so based on the Babylon Club from Scarface. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why I'm looking for some English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Ken Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg? <laughs> Rosenberg? Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Guess another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Go find that chef. This guy is one of the guys who ambushed the deal. Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Dead! I'll beat the life out of you! Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some, too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. Well, no need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. The local gun shops a couple of blocks away. Go check 
check out that gun store. You know what's strange about this mission is you just pull up in front of the gun store, you don't actually buy anything in this mission. Kind of funny how the, the gun store clerk, he has the Rockster sweater on. At a hotel. Ooh, that was close, that was close. Just there. That would not have been good. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Okay, let's go meet Ken Rosenberg for his next mission. for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. You know, the problem is that many other YouTubers, you know, when they when they do a walkthrough, they never show the phone calls, and that, like, really irritates me because, you know, the phone calls, they're really important parts part of the story. They're very crucial to it. It's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now, look. It's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out! I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that! The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? <laughs> this love is dialogue. Dumb Florida moron. <laughs> you Take got me too? Dumb what Florida you moron. Me? Oh. Well, here we're, um, here we're scaring the jury. We were scaring the jury into doing a not guilty, um, into going with not guilty for Giorgio Ferrelli. He's the cousin of Sonny Ferrelli, the Don of the Ferrelli family. He's the same guy who actually tried to assassinate Phil Collins in Vice City Stories. Giorgio? You remember he's innocent? Okay. 
first juror scared. It just shows you how aggressive the police were in the past GTA games. I mean, look at this. Wow. This is only this is only a two-star one in level two. Are you as boring as the other guy? Fortunately, though, I have the bribes memorized across the map. This car's a little faster. I remember he says in this mission, remember, guilty is a dirty word. Okay, well, we don't even need the bribe anymore. We lost the wanted level. Innocent until I say otherwise. Ah! Innocent until I say otherwise. <laughs> I remember he also says, that remember, guilty is a dirty word in this mission. Okay, let's go visit um, Rosenberg for his next mission then. Got no suntan. We well, ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, tell me, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later. Tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should, stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. <laughs> love that, love that personal dialogue, yes.
Okay, we're dressed up like one of the workers. Let's go start a riot then. So we're gonna try to do this entire walkthrough without dying once. So hopefully we can go for that challenge as well. Start fighting with at least four workers to get a riot started. together here. Got it. There we go. And that concludes this part, guys. That was all of a... Uh, whoa. Terrible drivers. And I guess the NPC drivers, you know... Uh, these must be these must be the dads and the moms of the NPC drivers in GTA Online. Hola, is this Mr. Versetti? Yeah. Uh, this is Cortez. You were at my party? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened when you missed the deal. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the bottom now. Okay? Good day, senor. Okay, so that concludes this part, guys. That was all of Ken Rosenberg's missions. Um, next part, we'll probably start with Avery Carrington and knock out all of his missions. I hope that you guys are enjoying this walkthrough. Um, this is one of my favorite. This is my favorite classic GTA game. And, this, you know, this game means a lot to me. It was a big part of my childhood. So, hope you guys are enjoying it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, wait, we got another phone call. Let's answer that. Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. Yes, that's the assassination mission. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'll see you guys in the next part. Take care, everyone.